This happened like what happened to you, Dad, when you sat around Rick Joyner and, and around people, and all of a sudden you blurbed a statement that mm -hmm. no one knew what, where you were coming from, yeah. that mm -hmm. a, uh, a big wounding from the left was coming. Yeah. That's the same thing yeah. happened during this conversation through breakfast mm -hmm. where Brother Dave Wilkerson just yes. blurbed it out to um, Dr. Mike Evans and said this statement that we're, we saw on the screen just yeah. a few moments ago. Marianne, are you familiar with that I statement? I am. I am. I wasn't there at that time, but I, I'm very familiar with it, the breakfast that they had together. And I guess Mike wrote it down. Yeah. He wrote it down real quick. And, you know, it's not in a book, so he didn't publish it. Brother Dave didn't. But it happened right there in a private time together. Mm. So, again... You know, God used Brother Dave to see things and say yeah. what he saw. And he suffered a lot, a lot like you, Jim yeah. and yes. Lori. It's that watchman calling. You see in a distance. You see God shows you things uh, from a distance. I, I just thought of this. Do you think mm -hmm. cancel culture was used on him for one of the first times in Christian history? I mean, as far as wanting to cancel mm -hmm. Dave Wilkerson? Oh, Boy. Oh, I d definitely, it was mm -hmm. a spirit, that same spirit, to choke him out and to try and get him to shut up because he had to get the word out there so people could be warned because God loves people us. People don't realize how much they want to shut down the true gospel. Yeah. They don't care if you're no. just preaching happy church. They don't, they're, gonna, they're just going to let you go. Anybody who preaches prophetic things yeah. and preaches the word, the real word, yeah. They want to shut their mouths, and they really discouraged Dave Wilkerson in the end because even his church came against him. Yeah, and there was a deep wound that he gave to the Lord, but he would, he would visit in my time with him, and he'd, and he'd use that wound to teach and say, this is what you're going to face. People are going to misunderstand you. They're going to think that you don't love people. They're going to think that you're judging. They're going to think you have a religious spirit. When actually it's the opposite. It's that same spirit that killed Jesus. Right. And it comes with a religious cloak, and it looks, it looks dignified. Yeah. It looks, oh, so loving. And, but that spirit is trying to cut off the prophets and cut off mm -hmm. the watchman warning. Mm -hmm. And it's true to this day. But we are living in a time where... Things are happening at such an accelerated rate that they're not going to be able to say That's that right. too much yeah. longer. That's right. We're coming to a yeah. time like an Elijah moment yeah. Yeah. where there right. will be a division. There will be a line in the yeah. sand. You won't be able to be lukewarm or cold or religious anymore. No more than going to Africa and preaching, you know, uh, uh, overrated uh, prosperity with these people believing for their yeah. next meal. That's right. Yeah. And you're telling yeah. them if you give a seed of $100, you're going to get 1000 That is so irrelevant down there. Mm -hmm. totally. And what's coming is going to be so irrelevant yeah. when, when people come against the watchmen and what you're doing here, what you've been doing for years. I've watched you for years. And Jim, the Lord says, I am not through with you, son. My second wind will come upon you. It will blow upon you. I will raise you again, saith the Lord. Your best days are not behind you. They are before you. Oh, and man. I have prepared you all of these years for right now. Yeah. Oh. The yeah. Lord says, rise up, son. Rise up, Thank son. You. Be encouraged. For my strength will come into you, yeah. and I will turn you into another man.